you've been thinking about getting into laser cutting, you've probably considered the X-Tool D1. I happen to have the pro version, the 10 watt, because I love it. I haven't stopped using it since I set it up, but there is a steep learning curve. So I'm gonna go over a couple of the aspects that you might wanna know before you get into your D1 Pro. I'm also in the process of upgrading and I'm gonna explain why I'm upgrading and why you might wanna consider it too if you have the D1. And if you are thinking about upgrading, Xtool has a really amazing offer coming up soon and I'll get into that in a little bit. Welcome to my office. This is kind of an interim setup until I get a workshop, hopefully prepared in another room in the house. But for now, this is what works for me. It's really important that you're near a window because you need ventilation. And um, it's also gotta be near a computer or a laptop. I don't have a laptop yet, so I've got it here next to my home computer. The X tool, when I first got it, was simply the machine in the box. I did have to add on some safety features, such as the enclosure. I added on an air conditioning uh, duct vent so that when I do use my machine, I open up the shutters here, open the window, put this in place with the vent going outside and then that way I can keep most of the cold or the hot air out and safely get those fumes and that smoky smell out of here. All right, so the honeycomb is a tool that will help lift your projects off the ground, okay, or off your work surface. So see this, if I was to just lay it right on the metal plate, it's gonna get a lot more char, okay, because there's no air, there's no space between the wood and then the metal backing that I have there. So this provides a little bit of space to keep my project from burning so much. That ventilation is important. In order for the laser to work correctly on your surface, it has to be the right distance away. You don't want it too close. You don't want it too far. So there's this little tool on the side that you pull out. And so right now, I already know I am too close because this tool should be straight. So the way I'm going to adjust that is go to the other side. There's this little handle here. I move it up or down to tighten or loosen it, okay? You have to pull it out, go around that and loosen it again. And now see, this head can move up and down. So now I'm gonna take that little tool out, put it so that it's touching whatever I'm going to be lasering. And now I lock this into place, okay? So now that can't move anymore. I can take this out and I'm ready to start my project. Now, another important thing to know is you will need to clean your machine. Um, some people say to do it every three to four hours, every or five to six hours of use. Um, I generally stick to like the three to four hours depending on what I'm doing. So the tools that you use to clean your machine are pretty basic. I'm just using alcohol and Q-tips and wipes and at a glance, you might not think it's that dirty, but once you start taking this apart, you'll really see. Now, the first thing you might notice as you're using it is you'll see like dust build up here. So if you're seeing that, it means you're probably overdue for a cleaning. So pay attention to how this looks. So now I'm gonna loosen this again, slide that out. And when we look here, I cleaned mine recently, so it's not too bad. But here, you'll usually see a lot of buildup. You might also see buildup here. So I'm going to get some alcohol on my Q-tip, wipe this down. You can also take this off. I'm gonna take this off and this off so I can clean the laser. And then I also wanna give this a good wipe down. 
Sometimes I'll even go in here. Let's see. It's already a little dirty. I, I cleaned it not too long ago, so mine isn't too bad yet. But I try to keep it clean because I don't want all that junk to build up on there. It'll be harder to clean up the longer I wait. So keeping it clean will help me keep it running longer. I'm upgrading to Xtools S1 for lots of reasons, primarily safety and speed. I'll get into that a little more in my review of the S1, but right now is a great time to, to upgrade your D1 because Xtool has an incredible virtual trade-in offer. You show proof of your machine that you currently have and you will receive up to $500 in credit that you can use towards the purchase of an enclosed Xtool machine like this S1. Here's more details about the program. Have fun crafting and creating with your X tool and check out my site, Morena's Corner, for more details about this special offer.